Hey guys, welcome to my vlog, the second of me individually talking to you. Um, I'm going to be reading from a script because I haven't learned this as I've just written this from the heart today and um, feel I need to get it, this across. So it's a message I've wanted to talk about for quite some time. So here goes. Apologies if I cry during it, but hey ho, we're all human, right? This year has truly been one of those that has tested my resolve to the bitter end. So my friends, my family, and those that I love. Some of you may have wondered why my status updates this year have been somewhat negative. It's never been my, my part in life to post my worries all over Facebook. Neither is it my intention to make this video part of that. I don't want people to feel sorry for me, but instead I hope this is a story that will make people who are struggling or need some support to know that regardless of my situation, I am and always will be there for someone or anyone that needs me. So on to my news. As some of you may well know, I have a condition known as osteogenesis imperfecta but I also have another condition known as neurofine bromatosis. Both conditions apparently are very rare, but unique in their own form. But life is exactly that to me, just life. I have a faith that I'll always be stronger than anything and that the love of people around me that is so strong, the messages of love I've received over the last few months have been nothing short of amazing. And without the love of God, or the support of my fellow man, I don't know where I would have been. But, I guess I should get on to the point of this video. There's no better way of putting this, but doctors confirmed last night that I have a low grade tumour in my brain. Hence the reason for my fits that have caused my many fractures this year. They've said to me that they still need to speak to specialists as to what to do going forward. But I believe in positivity, even though I'm crying. And of course, this time next year, I'll be using it as a character building example. I do plan on writing a book about my life and about all that I've seen and done in my life and that what has led me to this point. One person that has always inspired me in my life is Steve Jobs. And I'm going to read a quote. Now, he did say this quote after he was given the cancer diagnosis. So it's a little bit morbid, but it's something that I kind of look to when I feel discouraged. <sighs> I hope I can do it justice. Remembering that I'll be dead soon is the most important tool I've ever encountered to help me make my choices in life. Almost everything, all extended external expectations, all pride, all fear of embarrassment or failure, these things just fall away in the face of death, leaving only what is truly important. Remembering that you're going to die soon is the best way I know to avoid the trap of thinking you have something to lose. You're already naked. There is no reason not to follow your heart. No one wants to die. Even those who want to go to heaven don't want to die to get there. And yet death is the destination we all share. No one has ever escaped it. And this is how it should be, because death is very likely the single best invention in life. It's life's changing agent. It clears out the old to wait, make way for the new. And when Steve Jobs wrote this, oh, apologies, and when Steve Jobs wrote this about his life threatening cancer, which in fact did eventually take his life, I guess he was probably trying to just tell people that regardless of what goes on, 
the one thing everybody has in common is that one day we will all go. <sighs> However, I just want to make it clear that the tumour I have is low grade. And that's exactly what the doctors have said, low grade. Which means that it's not life threatening. It won't take me. It won't beat me. <sighs> no. <coughs> Nor will it change who I am. I believe in a higher power. And I, and I believe with the support and the amazing support I've had and already always will have of my friends and my family around me that I'm going to get through this. And this time next year, I'll be looking back and laughing at myself making this video thinking why the hell did you cry so much but hey sometimes we're allowed to cry and any men watching that don't like to cry always say men can cry so cry I'm going to end this video on a positive note if the two of them can join me I want them both too, so Richard and Beth are gonna come and be in shot. Hey! Hi! We're here! Cool. I was holding the camera badly, I apologise. Thank you, Beth. I went in on it. <laughs> so, on part of, one part of Cooper's Corner, I'd like to wish everybody that has watched our channel this year a very Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. And a Happy New Year. My Apologies. All of your wishes come true. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and dreams. Merry Christmas, guys. <laughs> like, hello, can I say something? Um, All right, Ace Ventura, calm down. It's actually <laughs> Rufio. So I know these guys have been through the mill with me. If they want to say something, they can. Well, we love you. Have have we ain't going nowhere. <laughs> you got to deal with us, mate. That one, exactly. That one, and I'm gonna get it out. I'm sorry about that. Please it don't. Out. What does that say? <laughs> don't know what does it say. Read it. The task ahead of you is never as great as the power behind you. Exactly that. One more. Because they're both. Nobody very, can read both, Spanish. They're both very fitting. Apart from the Spanish. What well, if we have any Spanish viewers? Spanish viewers can. This is in Espanol. I have no idea what it says. Something about wings. He shall cover you with his feathers. Under his wings you shall find refuge. His name shall be your stronghold. There you go. Always remember that. And if there are any non-Christian people watching and you do want to ask us anything about our faith, then feel free to because we'll always talk about it and we're always willing to have a discussion. Yeah. And apologies that this last vlog from us this year is probably going to be a bit morbid. It was never the intention to make it morbid, and that's why I invited these two to come in the shop afterwards. <laughs> just to cheer everything up and make everything smiley. We got him. We make him laugh on the daily. I will insert a clip at the end of what happened, because I didn't touch his table very well. On one other note. Mm. Uh -huh. Oh boy! We that's lost. the wrong character. We, 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 lost. <laughs> we lost Goofy. He no longer flashes. Yeah, we lost Goofy. Goofy he is no longer with us. <laughs> Goofy flatlined. He's meant to light up. But yes, we hope you all have a very wonderful Christmas. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas! Do you know what? This is going to look a bit like the Queen's speech with the Christmas tree in the back. <laughs> Goodbye, my fellow here, Britons. Ciao! Bye! Many times, many ways.